For quite some time, a beautiful bird has been living in the birdhouse that Daddy hung in the garden. No one's here. Maybe Mommy Bird flew off somewhere for a little while. No, no, here I am. And I've got big news. Just listen to my little house. Oh, the chakes. They're making sure you hear them. Can I take a look? Of course you can. They're all awake. They've grown so big, says Moosty. They're already good-sized little fledglings. Yes, yes. It won't be long now before they learn to fly. Meanwhile, I hope they just sit here peacefully in the nest for a bit, because I have to go and look for some food. That's okay. I'll stay with them until you get back. Will you really? That's wonderful. You go ahead, Mommy Bird. I won't be long. Bye, Moosty. <laughs> Moosty is really pleased he can do something to help Mommy Bird. But he hopes she won't stay away too long, because her chicks have started making a lot of noise again. Oh, here she comes already. Can you stay a little longer? Then I can gather a bit more food for later, asks Mommy Bird. I'll stay as long as you need me. In that case, I'll come and keep you company. Why is it you have to stay here? Mommy Bird is scared that her chicks will fly away too soon. Are they already that big? Asks Miss Tortoise. Oh, yeah. I think they'll be flying really soon. Mommy Bird has been gone a really long time. Can you keep an eye on things, Miss Tortoise? I'll go and look for her in the garden. All right, go ahead. I'll babysit. I hope these little rascals don't get into any mischief. Oh no! Oops! What will Moosty say? And Mommy Bird? Did you hurt yourself, little one? Can you stand up? What am I going to do now? I can't put you back in the nest. I know. Curl up really small, and then I'll stand over you. There, nothing can happen to you now. Here we are, shouts Moosty. I found Mommy Bird. She hurt her leg. Is everything all right here? It is now, yes. This little one wanted to learn to fly. But thankfully, he's all right. You little rascal. I'll be keeping a very close eye on you from now on. Now off you go, back into our cozy nest. I'll help you, says Moosty. Come on, in you go. Thank you for everything. What an adventure, says Miss Tortoise. And it's not over yet, laughs Moosty, because I promised Mommy Bird I'd go and look for some food for her chicks. That sounds like fun. We can go look together. Moosty is going to the farm this morning to get some fresh eggs. It's a very hot day. Maybe Mommy will make some delicious ice pops for later, he thinks. A little bit later, he walks towards the farm, happily swinging his basket. That's strange. There's nobody here. Where is everyone? Oink the pig is not in his mud bath. Boomer the horse is not in the stable. And Miss Cow is not in the field. Moosty doesn't understand. He looks around again. Fortunately, Mr. Cockerel is there. Hey, 
you, Mr. Kakaro. Where is everyone? Shh! Not so loud, Mr. Kakaro says. Today is a great day for Mother Hen. She'll have little chicks soon. It won't be long now. Do you mean that her chicks will be born today? Moosty whispers. That's exactly what I mean, Mr. Cockerel says proudly. Go and take a look in the chicken coop, but don't make any noise. Moosty is excited and walks towards the chicken coop. And look, everyone is there, waiting. First he greets the ducks, who are moving their beaks without making a sound today. Oink is just staring ahead without moving a muscle. Boomer the horse is also very quiet and shakes his head very gently. Miss Cow is shaking her tail and winks at Moosty. Careful not to make a sound, Moosty goes into the chicken coop. And there's Mother Hen on her nest as usual. Hello, Mother Hen, Moosty whispers. Is everything all right? Is there anything I can do for you? Mother Hen gets up from the nest, which has four eggs in it. All we can do now is wait, Mother Hen says. But I think it could happen any moment now. Look, there, it's happening. It seems as if the eggs are moving. Cracks are starting to appear everywhere. Then they crack open one by one, and suddenly... Four cute chicks are sitting in the nest. Mother Hen looks at her children with pride. They look so cute, Moosty says. I could hug them all. But the chicks just want to sleep and be close to their mommy. I should get going now, Moosty whispers. I'll be back tomorrow. Bye, Mother Hen. When Moosty leaves the chicken coop, all his friends are impatiently waiting outside. And how are things going in there? Boomer asks. Yes, please tell us, Miss Cow says. We've been waiting for so long. Everything went fine, Moosty says cheerfully. Mother Hen now has four cute little chicks. They're fit as a fiddle, and they're sleeping quietly. <laughs> everyone breathes a sigh of relief. And now I'm going home to tell everyone the big news, Moosty says. I'm sure Mommy won't mind that I'm coming back with an empty basket. Bye, everyone. See you tomorrow. And the proud daddy, Mr. Cockerel Crows. Ah, ah, ah! It's time to party. The carnival is here. Daddy is making a mask for Moosty. It's wonderful, Moosty exclaims enthusiastically. Can I try it on? Of course, says his daddy. There. Now you're ready to meet your friends. Yeah, but first I have to show Mommy. Bye, Daddy. Thanks for the great mask. <laughs> yoo <-hoo! laughs> Mommy turns around and is startled. <gasps> but then she starts to laugh. <laughs> I almost didn't recognize you, she says. Your mask is fantastic. I'm going to see my friends now, says Moosty. Don't go too far, Moosty. Dinner is almost ready. Okay, Mommy, I won't, promises Moosty. Mommy gives him a big smile. Moosty goes out looking for his friends. Oh, look, there's Miss Tortoise. Hello, calls Moosty. Hello, replies Miss Tortoise, continuing on her way. Miss Tortoise suddenly stops. Who are you? She asks. Don't you recognize me? Asks Moosty. Oh, it's you! 
laughs Miss Tortoise. My daddy made me a mask. It's wonderful. I'd love to have one like that. I only have one, says Moosty sadly. That's too bad. Wait, I have an idea, exclaims Moosty. Let's head back to my house and get another mask for you. And Moosty rushes off. Hey, wait, not so fast. But Moosty ran too far ahead to hear Miss Tortoise. He ran so fast that he's already home. He grabs the mask off the front door and rushes back. <sighs> Look what I got for you! I love it! Says Miss Tortoise. Thank you so much! Now I can go to the carnival too! Our two happy friends head off to see Mr. Rabbit. Hello! They yell together. Mr. Rabbit turns around and is startled. He dives right into his burrow. A moment later, he peeks his nose out. Hello! Hello! Moosty and Miss Tortoise say again. What can I do for you? Asks Mr. Rabbit cautiously. Moosty and Miss Tortoise start to laugh. And Moosty <laughs> takes off his mask. It's us! Moosty and Miss Tortoise! Really? Says Mr. Rabbit. <laughs> wow! I didn't recognize you at all! You look really cool! Do you have another mask like that for me? Then we could go to the carnival together. We only have two masks, says Moosty. I'm really sorry, Mr. Rabbit. Oh, that's okay, I understand, says a very disappointed Mr. Rabbit. Moosty, time to eat. My mommy is calling, says Moosty. I have to go home. But first I want to do one more thing. Here, you can have my mask. That way you can go to the carnival too. A very happy Moosty heads home for dinner. He feels good that he could make his friends happy too. Today, Moosty and his daddy are going to the farm. Moosty always enjoys that because then he gets to see all his farmyard friends. It's only a short walk. Look, they've already arrived. Are you coming inside? Asks daddy. I have to talk with Farmer Giles for a little bit. No, laughs Moosty. I'm going to play. Have a good long chat. I won't be bored. Moosty gazes cheerfully around and then walks over to see Mr. Dog. Hello, Mr. Dog, he says. Would you like to play a game? Sorry, Moosty, but I can't. I've got important work to do. Well, the farmer is not around, I have to guard the farm. If I see anything suspicious, I have to bark really loud. Ruff, ruff. Oh my, what a noise. Well, I better let you get back to work. Bye, Mr. Dog. Moosty walks over to the meadow where Miss Cow is grazing. She enjoys grazing on the farm. Just look at how she's waving her tail. Hello, Miss Cow. That grass seems tasty. Very tasty, juicy and sweet. Farmer Giles will need plenty of milk soon. And I'll be really glad to drink that milk, says Moosty. Bye, Miss Cow. And Moosty walks farther. Hello, Boomer. Boomer tosses his long mane and answers sleepily. <laughs> Hi, Moosty. Have you come to help work on the farm? Not today. But I've got time to play. Can we have a race? Sorry, but I've been working hard all day with Farmer Giles. I'm tired. I'm going to take a little nap. Okay, have a nice nap. I'll try to be quiet. 
But the quiet doesn't last long. Shh, shh, whispers Moosty. Boomer is trying to sleep. And we want to paddle in the water, says the biggest duck angrily. Oink, the pig is taking up the whole pond. There isn't any room for us. I'll try to figure this out, thinks Moosty, and he follows the ducks. Oink! Hey, Oink! But Oink the pig can't hear him. Oink! His ears must be full of water, thinks Moosty. And so he continues walking until he sees a tiny chick. Hey, what are you doing out here all alone? I wanted to go for a walk on my own for once, but now I've lost my way, and I want my mommy. <laughs> Don't cry. I'll take you back to the chicken coop. Your mommy is probably worried. Look, we're home already. Hello, Mother Hen. Look who I brought with me. He went out for a little walk and he lost his way. The little chick quickly snuggles up to his mommy. Arr! Thank you so much, Moosty, says Mother Hen. They're so little, they've got so much to learn. Arr! Well, I'm glad he's safe. I'll see you later, bye. But just as Moosty is leaving the chicken coop, Daddy calls. Moosty! Come on! Time to go home! Moosty wasn't able to play with his friends today, but he still enjoyed his visit to the farm. In a meadow just outside the village, there's a big circus tent. Moosty's excited and very curious. He and Daddy are going to take a closer look. The circus tent is beautifully decorated with colored flags. And around the tent, there are caravans and cages with animals. Look, Moosty, there are the elephants. Oh, and look there, Daddy. There's the lion's cage. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Have you come to visit our circus? Yes, Ringmaster. I've come here with my son, Moosty, to take a look around, if that's all right. Sure, of course it's all right. Come with me, I'll give you the grand tour. This is where Olaf the elephant lives. Here, Olaf, here's an apple. <laughs> His trunk is so funny. Follow me, let's take a look at the chimps. And here lives Bongo, our friendly chimp. A chimp? What chimp? I don't see any chimp. The cage is empty. Oh, what do you mean, empty? Oh, goodness gracious! Bongo has escaped again! I can't believe this. He was just here. He couldn't have gone far. Don't worry, Ringmaster. We'll help you look for Bongo. Look, Daddy. There are peanuts on the ground. If we follow this trail of peanuts, maybe it'll take us to Bongo. That's a very clever idea, Moosty. Well done, Moosty. I didn't notice those peanuts at all. Come on, Moosty. Let's follow the trail. Okay. Bongo seems to have been dropping peanuts everywhere he went. The trail leads over there, Daddy. Come on. That's strange, Moosty. The trail seems to be leading to our house. Oh, no. Daddy, I hope Mommy is all right. It's true. Bongo's trail does seem to be leading to Moosty's house. He went behind the house. Come on, but be careful. Okay. I think Bongo climbed in through the kitchen window. Daddy, look! That's really funny! Is that your new friend, dear? Sweetheart, Moosty! 
Just after you two left, this chimp jumped in through the window. <laughs> and I jumped too, with fright. But he's a very sweet chimp, and he's got very good manners. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> hey, Bongo, what are you doing here? Don't you have to go back to the circus? <laughs> I got tired of eating peanuts. I wanted a delicious banana. Ow. But when I'm finished, I'll go back to the circus. <laughs> Mommy, can Bongo have another banana to eat on the way? Yes, of course. Is this one okay, Bongo? <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. You're too kind. <laughs> <laughs> that crazy chimp. A little while later, Moosty and Daddy take Bongo back to the circus. I'm so happy Bongo is back home safe and sound. As a reward, I'd like you to come to tonight's show free of charge. Yippee! Did you hear that, Daddy? Mommy will be so happy to see Bongo again. And that's not all. Moosty also gets a bag of peanuts from Bongo. Thank you very much, Ringmaster. <laughs> Bongo prefers bananas. <laughs> <laughs> Moosty and his friends Laura and Sam are on vacation on a beautiful island where the sun is shining brightly. Today they're having fun on the beach with Mommy and Daddy. Catch the ball, Sam. Your turn, Moosty. Catch it! Here, Laura. Your turn. I don't really want to play catch right now. I'd rather go for a ride on that boat over there. What boat? Where? That yellow banana boat over there. Can you see it? Ah, ah, that yellow banana boat? I'd watch out for that banana boat. Everyone always falls off it. Hey, Coco, we're not scared of getting a little wet. No, nope, not me. I'm not scared of anything, am I, Moosty? No, you're not, Laura. And we're all really good swimmers. I'm sure you are. But you better ask your mommy and daddy for permission. Mommy, daddy, can we go for a ride on that yellow banana boat? Isn't that dangerous? No, we'll all be wearing swimming vests. And we'll hold on really tight. Me too, I promise. Okay then, but Daddy has to go with you. So I can go on the yellow banana boat too? All right, come on, what are we waiting for? Yippee! Thank you so much, Daddy. Soon after, they're all sitting on the banana boat. Everyone is wearing a swimming vest. Laura is sitting in the front. Sam is sitting behind her, and then Moosty, and Daddy is in the back. Are you all holding on tight? Ah! Is everybody ready? Then off we go, Captain! Ah! Yeah! Faster, Captain! Full speed ahead! This is so exciting! Look, Daddy! There's Mommy on the beach! Yoo-hoo! Be careful! Hi, dear! Whoa! Daddy, watch out! Uh, whoops! That was quite a shock! I'm okay, Moosty! Ah, stop, Captain! And overboard! Don't be scared, sir. We'll get you out of there. Everything okay, Daddy? Everything's okay. That was just a bit of a shock. Good thing I was wearing my swimming vest. Oh, dear. He's the biggest kid of the group. You have to hold on tighter, sweetheart. Don't worry. Everything's fine. Off we go, Captain. Our friends go round and round on the yellow banana boat. They're having so much fun. But then their ride is over and the boat stops. Whoa! Our ride?
fight is over! Everybody in the ocean! Ugh, the water is so salty! That's true, but it is really nice and warm. I'm already used to falling in the water. Do you want to go for another ride tomorrow? Yippee! That would be great! Three cheers for Daddy! Hip hip! Hooray! That evening, Laura, Sam, and Moosty dream of their exciting ride on the yellow banana boat. Moosty and Sam both have a racing car. They're having a race. Who's going to win? Watch out for Miss Tortoise, yells Moosty. Oh, what is that? Oh no! <laughs> Would you please watch where you're going, you two? Hey, Boosty, let's turn back in Mr. Rabbit's burrow, okay? What is that? Uh, oh, I better watch out! Gotta move! Uh. Hey, you guys! Can't you watch where you're going? Oh no, here they come again! <laughs> it's an exciting race. Who's going to win? There's the finish line. Hooray! I won! Shouts Moosty. No, I won! Says Sam. No, I did! Laura, you saw us. Who won? Sam or me? Sorry, nobody won. You both had a tie. Can I try now? I bet I'll be faster than you two. I'm sorry, but cars are for boys, not for girls. That's silly, Sam. Girls can drive just as well as boys. No, they can. Come on, you two. Don't start arguing. All that excitement has made me thirsty. Let's go get a drink. Are you coming too, Laura? If you do, you can carry my remote control. Mm-hmm. Okay, sure. Sam, can you get the cars ready for the next race? Okay, Boosty. Come on, Laura. Just you wait, Boosty. Next time, I'm going to definitely win. Meanwhile, Moosty and Laura have walked around the house. They sneak a peek at Sam. The cars are ready, Laura. Now it's your turn. To start the car, you press the red button. Hey, uh, what's going on? Moosty's car is starting, but where's Moosty? I'm starting too. You have to drive really fast, Laura. How is that possible? Just you wait, I'll catch up to you. Here we go. Faster, Laura, he's catching up. Go faster, Laura, and turn in Mr. Rabbit's burrow. I'm going as fast as I can, Moosty. I want to win. Oh no! It's those racing cars again! Uh, in here, Miss Tortoise! Uh, uh. Oh, when is it going to be peaceful in our woods again? I can't take all this noise anymore. Just you wait, Yellow. Now I've got you! Oh no! I lost! Hooray! I won! Yay for girls! Girls are the best! Laura? Was it you driving that yellow car? Yes, Sam! So now you can never say again that cars are only for boys! Yay for girls! Girls are the best! The circus is leaving Moosty's town. 
When Bongo the chimp passes by Moosty's house, he waves. Bye-bye, <laughs> Bongo. See you next year. I'm going to miss you. I'll miss the circus, too. A year is a really long time. But we don't have to wait a year. We can create our own circus. Do you want to help, Sam? Yeah, of course. But how? We don't have any wild animals, and we don't have a funny chimp. Don't worry, it's going to be a great circus. Just you wait and see. Later that day, Mr. Moosty's circus has finally arrived in the garden. Mommy, Daddy, and Marie are waiting impatiently for the first show. Laura and Belle are sitting in the front row. There's Moosty, the circus ringmaster. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Mr. Moosty's Circus. Let's give a big round of applause for our first act, the Native Americans. And now, this is very difficult on one leg. <laughs> Bravo, Mr. Rabbit. Well done. Ladies and gentlemen, now here comes Sam and his fierce tiger. <laughs> hey, Sam, where's your tiger? My tiger? Come on, tiger. Where are you? Suddenly, Mr. Dog appears. He's painted like a tiger. Here, tiger, lie down. Don't be scared, Belle. It's only a circus. Ladies and gentlemen, please keep very quiet. Here comes the great Tiger Leap. All right. Jump, Tiger. Come on. Jump. You can do it. Jump, Tiger. Oh, well done, Mr. Dog. That was amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, please don't be scared. The tiger is now going to roar very loudly. Tiger, roar as loud as you can, orders Sam. Arf, arf. <laughs> Everyone laughs at Mr. Dog's joke. <laughs> Moosty finds it funny, too. Mr. Dog and Sam are now roaring with laughter. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I also have a little surprise for each of you in my magic hat. Here we are, a delicious bone for Belle. Oh. Oh, thank you, Moosty. Something sweet for Laura. Oh. <laughs> and flowers for the mommies. Thank you very much, Ringmaster Moosty. Oh, thanks. And later on, Daddy will get his hat back. And then I'll conjure up a tasty treat for all the circus performers. Bravo for Mr. Moosty's Circus. Bravo! Thank you, everyone, for your applause. And we hope to see you next year at Mr. Moosty's Circus. Thank you. Thank you.